Right, welcome to the boat. Today is the day number three and we're going on a very exciting boat trip. We've got Claire here and we've also got our Black African on holiday. My name is Geordie Bunton and welcome to Jeremy Kyle. Today on the show we've got a girl called Claire and basically her boyfriend has not texted her back for three days even though last night she phoned him and said I'm upset with you why have you not texted me back and then she texted her as well. Claire what's the story? I really don't know but to be honest I can't make a big drama because I really need a lift home from the airport so hopefully that he'll be waiting for me at the airport on Monday evening. If not. Now, Je now, Jeremy Kyle always says, when we do the lie detector with him, how will it result? If he's a cheater or if he's not a cheater, how will it affect the result? Well, I think he probably is a cheater, <laughs> to be honest. And what will happen if he is a cheater? He can be thrown in the Red Sea. So I can confirm you are going to split up with him if you find out he is a cheater? Yes. And if you don't find out he's a cheater? Well, I think there's going to be a serious counselling needed. And if you sent a text to your boyfriend, how quickly do you expect a reply? Within one minute. <laughs> or at least, at least if, if, if it's not by the phone, I expect within 24 hours. What I'm going to do is send you off with Graham and we're going to do the test with your boyfriend, Jason. Right, here we are, we're just leaving now, as you can see, we're leaving the Sunny Days Hotel where we've come to today, for today's little boat trip, as you can see, the hotel is huge, um, as you can see, Claire's here, we're going to Paradise today, where's your assistant today? Um, our assistant slave, um, we've left him at our little house, looking after our uh, but we are going to try and get him to Ministry of Sound this evening. <laughs> <laughs> See how far we got. We can. And where's Tarot? Tarot gives us a wall. A wall, and we are really dying. We need our slave back. I think he's down here somewhere helping out. Right now, check this out. Right, so these guys have just taken my uh, towel and they're now making um, a like special this. hat. Oh, on, so they make it into a circle and then they roll it up together. And Terry reckons they're going to charge me 20 euro as well. <laughs> actually going to make her into Princess Leia. They like to do this with the Russian girls because it makes them feel good. Oh, Jamila Aoi! Mini Mouse! It is actually less Princess Leia and more Mini Mouse. That's really funny. Right, this is a second towel which is I'm not sure how he did that, but he just kind of rolled it forwards. I think he's making some sort of snake hat this time. Check this out. English networks of um, mobile phones, right? Here is a desert island, okay? In the middle of the Red Sea. Here's Tarek on his phone, got a really good signal, almost full signal, and 3G. So that's a good 3G in Egypt. Okay, Claire. It's like to T-Mobile and other companies, especially free, when they're In England. Basically, we can get a really good signal and speak to people in England in the middle of the Red Sea, but when you're actually in England, in a certain part of places in your house, you can't even get reception. <laughs> to be honest, I think it's ridiculous. Yeah, then we can go on this boat in the middle of an Arab I country. I was going to ask where his friend was calling from. Where was your friend calling from? Hagada or Cairo or somewhere? It's over there. That's one of them who had to drive the car boat. No, the person who called you on the phone. Who, who, where were they? Where are they? The person who called you, yeah, where do they live? Where are they calling from? From Hurghada? From Hurghada. From 
the garden, which is probably about 50 minutes away. <laughs> but in England, you could be five minutes away from someone, you couldn't even get reception. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think you meant to say you flip us off oh, first. Oh my god. <laughs> she tried to she stepped up there with her flippers on. <laughs> okay, so we've just been this is our first little snorkel and we've just been through I don't know if you can see the little dog bits there. Looking good. Um I saw maybe to that little beach as well, which was amazing. Um, there was like 2,000 like see-through little fish, the cutest thing ever. And then we saw some quite a lot of zebra fish and stuff. Well, I'm not sure whether you can see this, but check out all the fish guys. Loads and loads and loads swimming around the boat. I'll show you my best I think that was more of a fall in. Zaki is now going, like, look at the size of the boat. The boat is like a big one. Alex now going to jump from the top. Ready? Ready, Zaki? Here we are at the on the inside of the boat. We're just having the buffet now. As you see, Tariq's somehow been roped into serving the food as well. Today we've got some um, rice and something else, and then some meat over here. We're looking forward to having some of it. Okay, now we've parked up down here down the island. The sun is still shining bright, and we're here on the boat having our lunch now. So we've got the fish, rice, etc. Now, what do you think? So good. Just because you're so hungry. Yeah, because I haven't eaten since like yesterday. Look, morning. Now left the large boat behind, and we've all boarded this tiny little boat that is now trying to sway to scare everyone. Um, and now we're going over to Paradise Island, where I've been before, but it's very nice today. Players over here being very scared. He's really trying to rock it now. <laughs> Pedic amazingly is standing up, believe it or not, and he's getting it going as well. <laughs> We're now here on Paradise Island, enjoying a small ice cream. No, wait, as you can wait, wait, see. wait, 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 And it's a real Cornetto Nestle one. Oh, good shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the island. Right now, Claire's just had a photo taken down here. You can hear the Titanic music is on. We're loved up here on the part. Why? It's not good. You, you always say that. You always say that. Okay, and this is uh, Mario and his gang. We're just about to go. Right, Claire, what's happening? Well, basically, we've been on a big boat trip. Basically, it's making two stops at the local bus. They're telling everyone who doesn't come to this hotel, do not get off. Do not get off. I wondered if they, they you know, they charge an extra for people getting off here. But this does actually look like a really nice hotel. Shame we couldn't actually get off here. But the thing is, this is actually close to our house, but we can't get off because the security stole our friend's ID as we were coming in. The reason Claire finds it so amusing that the taxi drivers and the boats will just stop anyway is the fact that she gets on the bus and later and has to walk a long way from her stop. So she'd really quite like it if there was a boat or an Egyptian bus. Not, no, not only that, I, to get to my boyfriend's house, which is 25 minutes away, half an hour, I have to get two buses and still have to walk. <laughs> and here you can go 45 minutes for half the price. And have dinner. And have dinner. <laughs> I feel ridiculous.